Well, today I thought we would make some wrapping paper because I need some wrapping paper for something that I have to wrap. Hello. Nothing like Captain Obvious, huh? Anyway, so I wanted to make some quick wrapping paper. There's lots of ways to do it, but I like making wrapping paper with these um, these big foam rollers because you can kind of get going and, and you can cover a lot of territory, which I like. And here's the thing with wrapping paper is you can keep working on it forever because, you know, you could make it a huge production or you could just make it a quick and done. Anyway, because this is so thin, it makes really nice wrapping paper. You can um, easily fold it and so on and so forth. But because it's so thin, it also makes wonderful collage paper. So here's the kick. If I'm making my wrapping paper, then I wrap the objects I need to wrap. If I have leftovers, guess what? They can become collage items, right? Oh, you know what? I just thought of this flower stencil. This is a Christy Taylor. I think this would be really pretty wrapping paper, right? So I think maybe I'm going to use this instead of the other ones. All right, so I am going to get a couple colors going here. I don't know that you're going to see my colors. I think I'm going to roll a couple side by side. I'm going to, I'm going to move the camera so that you can see this before I start, okay? I've basically got three colors of this, you know, this Master's Touch paint the inexpensive paint that I use for this kind of thing. So I'm gonna move this over. I'm hoping you see my three colors now, right? So here I'm gonna get them all three on the roller, like the so. Thing. And you can make some quick work of this if you are um, using a roller, I'm telling you peeps. This, if you're trying to make wrapping paper, this is definitely the way to go, right? Now, let's say you were um, trying to use a repeat pattern, which I don't think this one repeats. You could really do something absolutely stunning where it matched up and this and that. I do not do that because <laughs> I lack the discipline to match it up mainly. I mean, I have done it before. I'm capable of doing it. I just am lazy. So I've got one layer on here with the gold in the background. Now, you could just say, okay, we're good to go. We're good to go here. And, um, I, you know, or you could keep going. I sort of like, I've got a couple gifts to wrap, so I kind of like creating like mix and match stuff. And this is a where I need, you know who I need here? Uh, Debbie Adams, because she's like just genius at this sort of thing, creating mix and match stuff. Maybe these grasses would go nice with the, huh. Let's look at these grasses with the flowers, right? That would be pretty, pretty, pretty. Hmm, thinking to myself. Now, since I've got all the pinks and the golds on here, I have a second one, so the, I switched to the, um, over to this kind of aqua color, which I thought I might use the aqua and the gold on this one, we'll see. I don't know. And here's the thing, I always end up making more than I need anyway because that's what I do. And if you have your leftovers, then you can still use them for collage or whatever. Now, if you are inclined to buy one of these rollers, this is a hardware store product. And I like these very much um, because like I said, you can cover a lot of territory and that's genius. And then you can take this end off and wash it off. So it washes off really well. And as far as sponge density, these rollers totally meet my sponge <laughs> density requirements. I am telling you, these rollers are great. 
You could choose to do this with spray paint if you wanted. Um, you could really just use any old kind of paint because here's the thing. You don't have to worry about if it's um, going to dry down matte or anything. It's, a, it's wrapping paper. And if you're giving it to an arty friend, they're probably going to end up using it in something. And how cool is that, right? I just love the idea of that. Here's another one of David's. I think I used this gold. Um, this has an edge on it, so I'm gonna take it up there to the corner, and I'm gonna use a little gold with the blue. Yep, because I think that'll be pretty cool. I should have probably rubbed more on here. It's blending up with the blue. Um, this is actually looking kind of cool, even though I keep messing it up and <laughs> moving the stencil. Oh my. So let's see how this looks if you hold it up. Again, you want to stop? You can stop. Or you can go back and add some accents. I thought it might be cool to use some Adina's gloss spray. Oh, it is. Let's do this. This is, I think it's in, this is a Jennifer Evans one. And look at this. I thought it would go really well with, let's get Dina's spray going over here at the side. Here we go now. Okay. I thought I could add some bits of white on top of the gloss spray. Now, okay, I've got this stencil so crapped up with the gloss now. I'm going to move this, I'm going to move these, and I'm going to put it face down, and then I will use that section later for some sort of collage part, too. Because look, see, that'll be something I can start over with later. And that's what I just do, is keep going with these things like this and moving them around and then try to save them for later. Let's look, okay, so I like this one. Very subtle, very pretty. Let's add a few little of these gold bits to this one. And here's the thing, is you can go back and forth and keep layering up quite as much as you want, you know? Because you know me, people. I like my layers, right? So let's see what else I have that I could layer with. I kind of want a pop of a fluorescent in here. <gasps> I have just the idea. I shall return in one moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is it. It's another Dina. It's a spray called Magenta. And look at that. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Once again, I'm gonna get it started on the side. And then, okay, so here's the thing about stencils. You can just put it right over top. So I think I'm gonna pop that one right there. I am hardly ever this precise, but I just think it might be pretty. I'm gonna put some paper towels. So you could pop one color like that, you know, and I, I really, oh, I think that looks so cute. I love it. So when I do wrap, I will, um, accent that little area. Ooh, ooh, I forgot to put this down on something. And I am going to have to say, look at this little hot mess right here. Like, I love that part. You know I'm going to cut that out of my underneath paper, right? Because I love that. Oh, Dina, 
So maybe we should pop another one over here. They're just so pretty with this. Let's see. I got the wrong side up here. Okay. Let's just do a little bit right here. Nice. Very nice. They are just beautiful little accents for this. I mean, we could even just hit this. We could hit the edges. You know, wrapping paper. Love it, love it, love it. This magenta magic color. Magic color, I shall say. I love that. This one, magenta and cheddar, are probably my faves. So, um, and then little, you know, little droplets of white. I've noticed if you just put it like halfway down, you can get like a little plop. And I like that, of course, to add some little white blips. So there's that one. And then let's bring this one back. I think I'm gonna leave this one kind of subtle. It's sort of pretty like that. Um, you know what, I guess I could pop it with that turquoise. <gasps> I can't stop myself, people. I just love it. Which color do we use, marine or do we use turquoise? Hmm, I don't know. I love both of these, love both of these. I haven't used these for a bit. The ball's stuck in the bottom of this. I hate it when that happens. Let's see. But I kind of like the idea of the turquoise. Let's see how, oh yeah. Beautiful. Throw it upside down. Get some of these little Oh, look at the little branches when you throw them upside down like that. Oh my gosh, you guys, you, you've all got to go make wrapping paper today. It's very rewarding, you know, because there's no composition decision. <laughs> so you got to love that, right? Okay. Well, there we go. That's all I needed to do today, and I am thrilled. I've got my wrapping